Hi, my name is Katie, and what I'd like to talk to you about today are some alternate sentencing requirements, and in some cases, just the sentences themselves. So, oftentimes our clients come to us with traffic issues, and many traffic issues that you wouldn't even think are jailable actually are. You can actually go to jail for up to 15 days on certain speeding tickets. Now, that doesn't actually happen most of the time, and even in cases like DWIs, where there is a greater likelihood of jail time, we're often able to negotiate sentences that don't include jail time. But there are some trade-offs and some things that may be involved in the terms of your probation or even your sentencing requirement. So, for DWIs particularly, there's a SATOP requirement, and that Substance Abuse Traffic Offender Program is what SATOP stands for. And basically, this may be a requirement of your probation, but to get your license back, that's also required by the Missouri Department of Revenue if it was suspended for an alcohol-related offense. So what they do there is they screen you, and then they put you in one of four different programs. Now, if you're a serious repeat offender, there actually is a fifth. But for the most part, we're just looking at four core programs. And you'll get a completion certificate. So a lot of courts actually do require that in alcohol cases or cases involving minors and alcohol or illegal drugs. There is another thing common for DWI offenders, that's an ignition interlock. So what that is, is that's a device that's actually installed into your car where you blow into the apparatus and if it tests positive for alcohol, the car won't start. The third thing that we're seeing is this SCRAM, it's Secure Continuous Remote Alcohol Control. And it's outside of your body, so it's actually a bracelet that goes on your wrist that monitors alcohol content 24-7. So a lot of courts are finding that the conventional treatment, you know, the testing isn't as effective for alcohol because it, it dissolves in your body. It's not the same as marijuana and things like that. So they're wanting that continuous treatment. Now these are just a few of the potential options, but they're the ones we're seeing the most often. So if you have questions about this or alternate things or things that might be sentenced to you as part of your probation, please come in and talk to us and we can sit down and go over the specifics of your case. Thank you.